Hey guys, this is Brian Blair here at Halo Inc. And today I'm going to be showing you how to do uh, separations for screen print in SEP Studio NXT for a simulated process job. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to open up uh, our artwork, which is saved as a PNG and it's two size. So we're just going to go ahead and double click there. And next you're going to see the artwork pop up and you can see that there are a ton of colors uh, that it's trying to separate. So the first thing we're going to do is click color crunch right here. What you're going to notice is that it breaks it down to just a couple of core colors. Um, so we're going to get rid of the blue because there is nothing in the blue design. And if we click on green, there's also nothing in the green. So we can go ahead and get rid of that as well. Um, next, what we're going to do is we're going to click auto adjust up here. I'm just going to punch up the saturation. And these are going on orange shirts. So over here, we're just gonna choose our textile color and hit the little t-shirt icon. And uh, if you were to look at the original artwork, you would notice that there is no black in the design. This is what the design is supposed to look like. And uh, for some reason, it doesn't generate it automatically. Um, so what we need to do is up here, we gotta click black generation. And we're just gonna use detailed, click okay. And now it's asking to pull in another file. Um, so what we're going to do is just use that same file that we, we used in the beginning, which is this 12-inch PNG. Double click that. And you will now see that the black is in the design again. And <clears throat> so it calls it black detailed. So we're just going to go ahead and right click and edit separation properties. And we're just going to detailed that way it doesn't confuse the press operator and uh, yeah that's basically it for the setup you can take a look at how it breaks down each screen and already gives a underbase as well and now you're good to hit print make sure all of our steps are turned on and hit save and save it to the desired folder thanks for watching